Chrissy Lee Stout, covering the anniversary of the massacre for us. Will is live in Taipei, Taiwan. But first, we head to Hong Kong and Victoria Park and Christy. So what is happening there uh, at the moment? I guess not a lot. Well, on this sensitive anniversary, I'm standing here in Hong Kong's Victoria Park, once the site of the once annual Tiananmen Vigil. In the days running up to this day, there were reports that up to 7,000 riot police in tactical gear would be out and about ready to take swift action against any unauthorized gatherings. But we have not seen such a show of force as of this hour. But two arrests have been made this day, including the arrest of a vigil organizer, Chao Hengtang. She was detained at her home earlier today for publicizing the unauthorized vigil. For two years in a row, Hong Kong police have banned the vigil, citing coronavirus restrictions. On Thursday, the city of 7.5 million reported one imported new case of the virus. There have been a number of large social gathering events that have taken place here, including an art fair. But let's hear straight from the senior superintendent of Hong Kong Island about the rationale behind the ban of the vigil. Police have reasonable grounds to believe that the activities not only increase the risk of infecting COVID-19 by participants and other people, but also pose serious threats to the lives and health of all citizens, jeopardizing public safety and affecting rights of others. For over 30 years, up until the year 2020, tens of thousands of people, if not more, would gather here 8 p.m. local time on June the 4th to remember what happened and what was lost on June 4th of 1989. This area here would be transformed into a sea of flickering light. That vision not likely to take place today. Now, we have uh, received a statement from Nathan Law. He is the exiled uh, Hong Kong pro-democracy leader talking about what this moment means for Hong Kong. Let's bring up the statement for you. And it, he says the government is using the public health concerns as excuses to ban the vigil politically. It's obvious that the government even tries to criminalize the act of commemorating the event. The banning of the June 4th vigil is an example of the government eroding our freedom in a drastic way. Uh, the Hong Kong Security Bureau has warned that anyone participating participating in or publicizing this unauthorized gathering will face jail time. Last year, the vigil was also banned, the police citing the coronavirus and pandemic restrictions. In August of last year, 24 activists were arrested, among them high-profile pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong. And it was just last month in May, he was sentenced to an additional 10 months in jail for his participation in the vigil that took place last year. That said, and despite the ban, a number of Hong Kongers have said that they plan to mark this sensitive anniversary in personal, intimate ways by lighting a candle at home. Even according to Lee Chuk Yan, he is a veteran organizer of the vigil who is now in jail for his role in the 2019 protest. He says he plans not to light a candle, but a cigarette in his jail cell tonight. John.